BuzzFeed investors have pushed the CEO, Jonah Peretti, to shut down entire newsroom, according to sources. So let's get right into it. So BuzzFeed is shrinking its money-losing news organization, the company announced Tuesday, amid what people familiar with the matter describe as broader investor concern that the division is weighing down the company. Several large shareholders have urged BuzzFeed founder and CEO John Peretti to shut down the entire news operation, said the people who asked not to be named because the discussions were private and BuzzFeed declined to comment. So BuzzFeed stock closed over 6% higher at $5.27 on Tuesday. BuzzFeed News, which is part of its content division, has about 100 employees and loses, look at this, loses 10 million a year to the people said. How the hell do you lose 10 million dollars a year writing articles? I mean, like, what? So the company which also has advertising and commerce divisions said Tuesday its full-year content revenue grew 9% in 2021 to $130 million. One shareholder told CNBC shutting down the newsroom could add up to $300 million of market capitalization to the struggling stock. The digital media company went public via a special purpose acquisition vehicle in December or SPAC, and the shares immediately fell nearly 40% in their first week of trading and haven't recovered. Peretti has been a vocal champion of the importance of BuzzFeed News for years, calling it good for the world, good for business, and good for our company culture. The organization's newsroom has won several awards, including a Pulitzer Prize and a George Polk Award. This morning, we announced plans to accelerate profitability for BuzzFeed News including leadership changes, the addition of a dedicated business development group, and a planned reduction in force, Perotti said Tuesday. We will prioritize investments around coverage of the biggest news of the day, culture, and entertainment celebrity in life on the internet. And the company has offered voluntary buyouts to fewer than 30 employees, according to a person familiar with the matter, who asked not to be named because the decision is private. The buyout is only available to reporters and editors who cover investigations in equality, politics, or science, and have worked for the company for more than a year. And BuzzFeed plans to make the buyout proposal to the News Guild of New York regarding its U.S. staffers. And rather than shut down BuzzFeed News, Peretti is attempting to make the division profitable. He has already, he has a ready-made template. He made a decision to lay off 70 HuffPost staffers last year after acquiring the company from Verizon Media. Though BuzzFeed is a profitable company, we don't have the resources to support another two years of losses, Peretti said at the time. The most responsible thing we can do is to manage our costs and ensure BuzzFeed and HuffPost are set up to prosper long term. That's why we've made the the difficult decision to restructure HuffPost to raise profitability more quickly. And our goal is for HuffPost to break even this year. Now, HuffPost is now profitable, according to a person familiar with the organization. And ahead of the job cuts, Mark Schuess, BuzzFeed News Editor-in-Chief, told staff Tuesday he's leaving the company. Samantha Heenig, BuzzFeed News Executive Editor of Strategy, will run the newsroom on an interim basis. Deputy Editor-in-Chief Tom Namako and Ariel Kaminer, Executive Editor of Investigations, are also resigning. And Namako is joining NBC News Digital Operation as executive editor. In his fourth quarter earnings release, BuzzFeed said quarterly revenue grew 18% year over year to $146 million. Profit rose to $41.6 million, up 29% from the same period the year before. And full year revenue grew 24% year over year to $398 million. And net income more than doubled from last year to $25.9 million.
Like, that is just so crazy when you really think about it. Like, think about it. Losing $10 million a year? And one, why do you have 100 people working on your news organization? Like, in your news segment. But, like, let's look at this, right? Buzz feed right here. Let's see. Let's check out BuzzFeed. If it loads, come on, BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed, no, 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 BuzzFeed News, right here. Okay, so this setup for like a news website, it's not that bad, right? It's not really that big of a deal. And here's the, this is the thing that I don't really understand, right? And the reason why I'm so shocked that, one, they have 100 employees, and two, that they're losing $10 million a year, right? All these news stories, right? Every single one of these news stories, right, are just copycats of other news stories, right? And the thing that I really don't understand it's literally the same thing with other news websites, right? Like, this is the thing that people don't really understand, right? Like, so, look, for example, right? BuzzFeed News, Judge has ended Amanda Bynes' conservatorship, blah, blah, blah. Ketanji Brown, blah, 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 right? Let's go to CNN.com. Like, and we're just going to be comparing these different, like, news websites, Right? Blah, blah, blah. Jackson's criminal sentencing record, blah, blah, blah. What are you saying? Blah, 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 blah. But basically, woman charged with manslaughter, fatal shoving of Italy Broadway vocal coach. This is on every single news website. Kim Kardashian, blah, 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 blah. Mackenzie Scott donates the $436 million. That's on literally everything as well, right? Like, this is the thing that I don't really understand, right? Nearly every news website has basically the same news stories, right? Let's see. This one's also on every single news one. Hillary one also. Gitanji again, right? SEC for Elon Musk, he's on all of them as well, right? Like, it's nothing really new. Like, this is the thing that I don't really understand, right? So how the hell is BuzzFeed losing $10 million a year, and why the hell do they have 100 employees if all the news articles are just regurgitations of other news articles with slight differences, right? You could even check, you know, the New York Post, right? It's going to be basically the same thing. Right? Let's see. The NATO one is also on all of them. Bum, 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 bum. Hillary test positive, blah, blah, blah. Shoving... Michelle Go unfit to stand trial. No, not that one. Uh, boom, boom, boom. But yeah, like you could pretty much tell, like everything's pretty much the same thing. Like all of them have the same story, just in different locations, and that's like the only difference between all of them, right? All of them also have this story: White House press secretary Jen Psaki contracts COVID again, right? Like there's nothing really different, like, you know, Amanda Bynes vows, blah, 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 about the conservative thing, like, there's not really any real difference between any of these news sites, which, like, I find interesting, right, and look, let's just do this, like, news, I think that's how you pronounce it, okay, so, yeah, see, this is the thing, so, in computing a news aggregator, or also termed a feed aggregator, 
feed reader, news reader, RSS reader, or simply an aggregator is a client software or web application that aggregates syndicated web content such as online newspapers, blogs, podcasts, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Where is it? Let's see, is this the one? Net News Wire? Hmm. Netnewswire.com. Let's see. No. Where is it? Like if I remember correctly, there's actually, I think there's like a specific website where it actually just like basically poops out news that like all these different websites end up actually doing. Let's see. We have pure news aggregators like News 360. Hold on. News 360. That learns what you enjoy and finds stories you. No, 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 no. Man, no, it's not this. I just remember reading something where nearly all these websites get something. Hold on, let me do like a quick search. Where do news websites get the same stories from? Let's see. Let's see. MotherJones.com. Ever wonder why your local TV news station runs the same stories? Blah, 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 blah. Is this it? Mm. Uh, No. No. No, that's not it. New search engines. I wonder if that's it. News at Google, no, no news, Google. Alta Vista, Day Pop. Columbia News Blaster. Net to one. News Knife, no, News Now. News Trawler. Nah, screw that, I'm not gonna. Sign up for that. Log digger. Huh. Okay, so this is the thing. Why the same news article will often appear on multiple different news sites. Perhaps this is the one. In some cases, this is because the news article was supplied by a news service. 
Jennifer hired a journalist in Washington, D.C. and another New York. And if a school shooting happens tomorrow in Parkland, Florida, the Prairie Journal Star would not have a trained journalist station in Parkland ready to report it. So they subscribe to a news service. The most popular are the Associated Press and United Press International and Reuters. There are others. The newspaper pays for a worldwide news service. Then the smaller news resources, such as small town news, blah, 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 blah. Actually, yeah. Okay, you know what? Let me read this one. Yeah, this is actually going to be a good breakdown as to uh, how I do not understand why BuzzFeed News sucks so much, but that they can't turn a profit, okay? So according to this post, and this is like three years ago, right? Number one, in some cases, this is because the news article was supplied by a news service. The Peoria... Journal Star cannot afford to station journalists everywhere in the world where newsworthy events are occurring. They cannot afford to hire a journalist in Washington, D.C., and another in New York, and another in Paris, France. And if a school shooting happens tomorrow in Parkland, Florida, the Peora Journal Star would not have a trained journalist stationed in Parkland ready to report on it. So, they subscribe to a new service. The most popular are the Associated Press, the United Press International, and Reuters. There are others. The newspaper pays for a worldwide news service. Then these smaller news resources, such as a small town newspaper, are able to offer their readers national news and even international news. Those stories would tend to be identical or nearly identical with each paper that subscribes to that service. They are often chopped at the end to fit the space available. Number two. There are also some cases where a single company may own a television station and also a newspaper in the same town. They may hire a journalist who supplies both entities with the news, so you might go to the website for that TV station and the website for that newspaper and see the same article. The same can happen with a radio station and a newspaper. Number three, finally, there's the obvious example of a local TV station which is affiliated with a national network so your local NBC station is allowed access to a national story supplied by the national network NBC, but so is every other local NBC affiliate all across the nation. Now, let's do this. Let's see, let's see. So, let's just look up the Associated Press. Right? Associated Press. Bum, 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 bum. AP News. Right? Actually, hold on, wait. Hold on. What's AP.org? What's this? Looking for top stories? Go to AP News. Okay, so there's two different websites. Interesting. Advancing the power of facts, news and services that expand the reach of factual reporting. For more of the day's top stories and breaking news alerts, download the AP News app. All the news you need in any location, topic, or format. So 2,000 stories every day, 1 million photos per year, 70,000 videos per year, 1.7 million video clips in archive. Tell your story from all angles with award-winning content. So engage your audiences with world-class content and cutting-edge services. Okay, interesting. So yeah, this is exactly the thing. So you could literally subscribe to the AssociatedPress.org and literally just copy and paste basically the stuff interesting so let's actually just come let's do this here studio facilities content production editorial planning advertising content how can we help okay content production so our teams of experts are here to help with content hold on our team's experts are here to help with content production. We offer a range of services. Broadcast live from AP studios and stand-up positions in over 30 cities. Broadcast support to cover news events, cover worldwide events, and access full production and editorial solutions. Produce content for your brand. Align your brand with the most trusted source for independent journalism. 
co-production with AP in partnerships, create documentaries, miniseries, podcasts, books, and more. So produce content for your brand. Learn more. So AP Content Services is the content marketing and advertising service of the Associated Press as an exertion or as an extension of one of the largest, most trusted sources of independent news gathering. We work collaboratively with brands and advertisers worldwide to create and distribute authentic, impactful, and informative content. AP engages a savvy and informed news audience across our premium digital properties, including the flagship AP News website and mobile app. Extend your influence by tapping into AP's unrivaled media reach through our advertising networks and content distribution services. Yeah, see, that's interesting. Interesting. Now that's, see, this is the thing, right? Like this is where basically all these different news websites end up getting their information. Sites like this, right? And they just pay like a monthly fee to basically copy and paste basically everything, which is kind of hilarious when you actually think about it, which again, why is BuzzFeed losing $10 million a year? Like it's crazy, but... Okay. If you want to learn how to get out of debt and manage your money, go to 40inbox.com. Feel free to give your thoughts about this whole thing.